What's up guys? I am Snappy J and this of course is my thought of the day. Uh, so, as you may notice, I'm in a different location. Check it out. Pretty sweet. Just moved in this weekend and so just settling in and got my sweet new entertainment center and everything. Bam! It's pretty pretty awesome. I'm, I'm really looking forward to surround sound and everything and uh, it sounds really good in here so we're gonna do some serious gaming up in this joint. Um, and of course my beautiful Nintendo themed uh, bookcase. Anyways, so what I've been thinking of lately is about uh, first person shooters. And as you may notice there's been like first person shooters nowadays have become a lot more popular like they, there's one coming out like almost every month, you know, every year there's tons and tons of them and I'm sure most of them get tossed by the wayside. Uh, you know, if they're not Call of Duty, they're not Halo, you know, they're not the big names, then, you know, everybody's trying to cash in on those. And especially off, off of like Call of Duty's fame and all the modern warfare type shooters. Um, and it just kind of got me wondering why, why are first person shooters so popular? What is it about them that is so appealing, I guess, to, um, to other people. Ooh, light. Oh. Um, so it's, it's really interesting because, um, you know, back in the day when I started playing games, like I never really, I didn't play too many shooter, shooter type games. Um, it was mostly, you know, platformers and stuff like that. And, but, you know, nowadays, like, everybody's playing first-person shooters, and it's all about the online. It's not so much about the single-player experience. Um, so I guess why I think that it's so popular is just because, it, basically, the, the gaming um, industry, the, the consumers of the gaming industry are mostly adolescent boys. So, I mean, you know, it's your, especially for first-person shooters, it's your, like, 12 to, you know, 25, probably, age group. Which is interesting because, you know, while it's probably that's kind of the age range, you know, the the rating system, obviously, it's, you know, 17 and up, for most of these at least. And, but a lot of the people that you find on there are, you know, younger than 17, which kind of causes much ire amongst the, the older uh, age group of people that are playing these games. Um, but, you know, guys, if, you know, you may or may not know, love... Uh, explosions, action, uh, killing, <laughs> anything involving, you know, uh, you know, being the action hero, I guess, is, you know, what I'm getting at. You know, everybody kind of dreams of, you know, being the hero, being, you know, the one to, to carry us to victory and everything like that. You know, and it feels great to, you know, to be able to do that. And the first person shooter genre really lends itself to that, especially in the the multiplayer, and I guess, you know, in the single player as well, uh, but in, you know, in multiplayer, you know, you're able to, you know, you're part of the team, you're part of helping, you know, get to victory, whether it be, you know, uh, in a death match or capture the flag or king of the hill or something like that, you know, you're contributing to your team and it's just like when you do really well and like your teammates are cheering you on and stuff, it feels so good to, to do that. And I think that you know, the first-person shooter genre, more than any other genre, really lends itself to that and makes you feel like the the hero of the group or, you know, like the one to rule them all or whatever. Uh, but it's it really kind of plays to that uh, dream, that desire, that... Uh, um, I can't think of the word. Anyways, yeah. Just because when we're kids, you know, we're all... You know, we look up to those kind of action heroes, you know, in the movies, um, like in Independence Day or whatever, you know, being Will Smith or something to save the day, get in the spaceship and fly and defeat the enemy or whatever. And, um, you know, and as boys, we like explosions and blowing stuff up, uh, shooting things, big guns. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess this one is probably not going to be as long as my previous ones. I don't have as much to talk about about this, but I just thought it was an interesting, interesting little topic to go over because it it is such a huge thing in today's industry, in the gaming industry. It's become so much bigger than it was before, and like there's you've seen so many more of these first first person shooter games, and it just makes you wonder like why why are they 
so popular now, and Call of Duty's the best selling you know, FPS out there right now. You know, and it's it it amazes me because with Call of Duty, there's one coming out every single year, and it's like for me, like I don't buy them every year. I'll buy them like maybe every other year. I've got I have Black Ops, the first Black Ops, and the second one, and they're you know two years apart, and that's enough time for me to play the game and to actually um, enjoy it, you know? I just feel like a year is not long enough to do that because, you know, I guess a lot of these people are probably playing them a lot more than I am. <laughs> you know, getting 10 prestiges or whatever, you know, going through each rank, you know, 10 times. And, you know, I, I don't play that hard like some of those people do. And, you know, I think that, you know, going at it too, too hard is... Uh, you know, going a little overboard, but, you know, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, why do you think that the that first-person shooters are so popular? Is it because, you know, people want to be the action heroes? Is it just because people like to kill people? Like, I don't know. There's something visceral about that. You're just like, oh, man, when you get that headshot, you're like, all right, I'll keep playing. Because, <laughs> you know, it's something... It's like uh, immediate, like instant gratification, uh, because it's like you, you cause it's like cause and effect. You know, you do something and something happens back. You're like, oh man, you know, I I did something. I'm contributing to the team, and like it's like, oh, that's really cool. And so it's kind of that instant gratification where you know, you just kind of you don't have to work too terribly hard and too terribly long to get something from this. And it's easy to jump into, I think, which is another another big thing. Um, you know, it's not too difficult. It's pretty straightforward. It's like, okay, you move with these with the joysticks, you shoot with this button, and like that's basically all you need to know. Moving, aiming, shooting. And you know, as long as you got that down, you can play the game and then like everything else is, you know, you you learn as you go. And I think that it's because it's so easy to get get into, which is why I think Call of Duty is so popular. Because it is so simple to get into, it's very straightforward, you understand the concept of the game, there's two teams, and you're fighting against the other team. And it's simple, and it's easy, and it works. And that's, I guess, my reasoning behind it. But what do, what do you guys think? Is that, you know, do you agree with my reasonings? Do you think that there's something else going on there? Uh, let me know in the comments below, please. I would love to hear from you guys. I, you know, I love, you know, talking to you whenever you leave comments and stuff. Um... And yeah, just uh, keep tuning in. We're going to keep doing these vlogs every Sunday. Um, and I'll have a link to Jeff's uh, probably down here or something. And uh, yeah, we'll continue to do the multiplayer mayhem on Saturdays. Uh, we did Project M yesterday. And um, next Saturday, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Maybe Halo 4 or something. Uh, we're not really sure. We kind of just play it by ear or whatever. Um, but let us know if you like that either. Because like, I'm not sure. I don't know. Whatever, it's it's Smash Bros. <laughs> so we're not sure how interesting... If it was interesting for you to watch, it's fun for us to play. But, you know, if it's not fun to watch, let us know. We want to know. We want to be able to provide you with content that's enjoyable and fun. And, you know, we don't want to be the only ones having fun. <laughs> but um, it helps that, that, you know, we're enjoying what we're doing, too. So, uh, yeah, uh, let us know what you think. And uh, subscribe, like, favorite, whatever. If you want to do that, go for it. If you don't, thanks for showing up and checking us out anyways. Um, but until next time, PSTS, ERS, press end to end. <laughs>